Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to the latest match day preview for the channel. It is Morecambe versus Doncaster Rovers in League 2. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to the latest match day preview, Morecambe versus Doncaster Rovers in League 2 tomorrow. Um, if you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel and continuing to do so. We're on the road to 3,500, um, we're at 3,400 at the minute, so yeah, if you haven't already, please consider clicking subscribe if this is the sort of content that you do enjoy. If this is the first video that's brought you to the channel, this is a format that we go through match previews. We look at previous meetings between the two clubs, current form across all competitions. I choose the Doncaster Rovers player to say a few words about, and then I choose the opponent's one to watch. But as I always say, you know your club much better than I do. So if somebody else should be part of that conversation, get them in the comments down below. And then we finish the video off with three predictions. A predicted team lineup, thanks to FanHub. The predictions league table that me and the family are doing, uh, so there's an update on that, and then the all important score prediction at the very end. So, without further ado, let's get into previous meetings. Morecambe and Donny faced off a total of 10 times in our history, and Morecambe edging this one with five wins out of the 10, Rovers only winning two, and we shared the spoils on three occasions. Drilling down into the more recent five, um, we go back to the 2016-17 season, which was a decent one for Donny with a 5-1 away win. It'd be nice to see that tomorrow. Um, and then a 1-1 draw at home. And then jump to the 2021-22 season, and we traded blows, but obviously the scoreline shows that Morecambe were the better off overall. Um, we beat them 1-0 at home, and then the game on... Just after New Year's Day, um, probably ended our ended our season. Um, three nil up at half time, and ended up getting beat four three. And for me, that was the game that relegated us that season. But then earlier this season, it got worse. We got battered five nil at home. Um, so we're not wanting a repeat of that tomorrow. We owe them one. So hopefully we can uh, deliver just a damaging performance and result that they did to us at our place tomorrow at this. In current form could say that that may happen because Donny come into this one on the back of five straight wins. Fantastic run of form for us. Uh, Morecambe a little hit and miss recently. Three defeats but they're coming into this one on the back of two wins on the bounce. A wonderful performance from Donny though Tuesday night in front of a, a very good big noisy crowd um, which I hope a number of them come back because the Eco Power Stadium, when it's got 10,000 plus in, is fantastic. It's a bit soulless at five, six thousand, but when it's when it's full or or up there, it's a great place to be. Um, great atmosphere, and we got that on Tuesday night. And I think we were certainly the 12th man um, pushing the lads on in a very defensively solid, bodies on the line sort of performance. Um, at points, we looked dangerous going forward, and I think the fans really pushed the players on. Luke Molyneux came out on social media and said. It was the best atmosphere that he's, he's been part of since coming to the club. So I think we do have an impact on the players' performance. So hopefully that performance on Tuesday night has convinced a few people to return who may have only gone to, to see the Hollywood circus that is Wrexham. Um, but yeah, great performance. Really proud of the team on Tuesday night. And it's the team that's just clicked in recent weeks and for me I hope it just continues until the end of the season and we get positivity into next season. Anything less than a win tomorrow for me will put all playoff hopes to bed. Um, we're currently seven points away from the playoffs so it's a lot to make up. We've got a game in hand but slip ups are needed and obviously Morecambe they're, they're above us in the table so it's one of those where I think if we draw or lose playoffs is definitely out of the picture but there's still a slim hope as we're uh, recording at the minute. For Morecambe though a pretty good season so far as I say currently just sitting outside of the playoffs in eighth two points behind Crawley in seventh but they have played one more game than Crawley so they'll be needing these points on the board um, to put that pressure on Crawley who face Mansfield tomorrow so tough game for them. Um, bit of a hit and miss March for Morecambe uh, it has impacted their, their momentum Good wins against Crewe and Crawley and also Accrington who were struggling a, a bit at the minute. But then defeats to Wrexham, Newport, Salford and Gillingham shows that they can be got at and some, some goals were scored in them. Newport 5-3, Salford scored 3, Gillingham scored 3. So I think if we attack them 
who knows, we could get a, a, a good few goals tomorrow. Morecambe will hope, though, that the same Doncaster team shows up from earlier in the season, who they absolutely battered 5-0. But in recent form, I think we may have a chance. On to player profile. So for this one, I've gone with Joseph Oluwu, uh, centre-back, 24 years old at Doncaster. And I think credit's got to be given to Joe for his performance on Tuesday night. It was absolutely superb. Didn't put a foot wrong um, and kept one of the league's most dangerous strikers in Paul Mullin extremely quiet all game. Um, he was wanting his 100th goal. He didn't get it against Donny. So I'm sure it'll come sooner rather than later. But for, for us, we, we put that block in for, for the record for Paul Mullin and Oluwu was just superb, absolutely fantastic. And he's fallen out of the team in recent weeks and, and that's due to a solid partnership of Richard Wood and Tom Anderson. And obviously Tom getting sent off, Woody with a gash on his head, could be a makeshift back for tomorrow. Uh, but Joe's now really got an opportunity to stake a claim for, for first team football once again and continue with performances like he did on Tuesday night. And I see no reason why he couldn't put a decent claim in for first team football. Moving on to the opponents want to watch. So as I said at the start of the video, you know your club much better than I do. So if there's somebody else that should be in the conversation at this point, get them in the comments down below. Um, but for this one, I've gone with Jordan Slew, 31 years old, centre forward, but getting utilised on the wings at Morecambe at the minute. Uh, and he's having a decent season. It's his best goal contribution season um, since 2021 in the National League. He scored eight, um, assisted five. So he's one of those players where a lot of the play goes through him. Um, quick, strong winger um, and one to, to really look out for. And I think if he's on the left, Sterry and Molyneux may have to double up to, to prevent him from, from getting opportunities to, to lay the ball in and, and create opportunities for the attackers. So I think keeping Jordan quiet is probably a good idea. <laughs> um, but there are other players that could influence the game. Um, Donny fans, you'll probably hammer me for this, but Jordy, he will... Uh, Ex-players always come back to haunt you. He was an absolute dreadful player for us um, just didn't click didn't work and you know he's going to pull out an absolute world it tomorrow but for me I'm going with Jordan Slew as the one to watch tomorrow on to the predicted team lineup so for this I use FanHub if you've not downloaded the app yet please go ahead and do so plenty of features to get your teeth stuck into um, I use it mainly for predicting the lineup and predicting my fan hub fives um, but yeah let's get into the my predicted starting 11 tomorrow obviously a change at the back I'm not sure on the extent of Woods injury a big gash to his head I don't know if there's any concussion protocol or not um, recording this before any sort of um, information comes out about him um, in the press so I'm going low to Tyler in goal a back four of Sterry, Oluwu, Bailey moved back into the centre-back position and Maxwell on the left. Um, Biggins, Craig in midfield with Tommy Rowe just in front, um, replacing Bailey in midfield. With Adelaide on the right, Molyneux on the left and Joe Ironside up front on his own. It's not a bad starting eleven. Obviously, the makeshift back four does concern me. And on this decent run of form, it's going to end at some point. Losing Anderson and Wood could be... The reason that this uh, this run stops but that's the 11 that i'm going for more than capable of getting something from this game on to the predictions league table so if you're new to this me and the family predict the scoreline for every single league game if we get the scoreline spot on it's three points if we get the outcome right but not the scoreline it's one completely wrong it's no points and i went with a defeat against Wrexham. my dad went with a good old desmond 2-2 two -two. um chris and max both went with wins but none of us got the score right so one point added to Chris and Max, who closed the gap slightly on me in first. So I'm top on 32 points, Chris in second on 23, Max in third on 22 points, and Dad holding us all up, as he has done for a long period of the season, uh, in fourth on 12 points. And that takes me on to my score prediction to round this video off. And I've kind of touched on it already. The, the run will end at some point, and I thought it would end at Crawley. I'd predicted a 2-1 defeat. We won. <laughs> I thought it would end at home to Wrexham. I predicted a 2-1 defeat. We won. So I'm hoping that that's an omen and I'm sticking with my 2-1 defeat. Morecambe will be pushing for playoffs. They need the points. This run will end at some point. But I'm hoping that the run 
that I'm doing, predicting 2-1 defeats and Doncaster carry on winning, continues tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going Morecambe 2, Donny 1, but I am praying that I am wrong and it's another win for the Rovers. That's where I'm going to leave this one. If you've enjoyed it, please stick a big thumbs up on it. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.